The Inner City All-Stars are one of Dallas's hippest up-and-coming bands, known for their high-energy brass band performances. Calvin Sexton plays the trombone and acts as the band's self-appointed hype man. Well, I, first I started to call it the Inner City All-Stars Brass Band, because we were trying to model uh, with a lot of the brass bands, like in New Orleans. Then after a while, uh, we started exploring different styles of music other than just that one, so um, I just started calling it Inner City All-Stars. The Inner City All-Stars bring a very unique sound and style to Dallas. The style of our band is very powerful. It's very in your face, but at the same time, it's something that's very enjoyable. We, we cover so many genres, so you can't really pin us into a certain corner with that. We're not just a jazz group or a funk band or a hip-hop group or anything like that. We cover a lot of different stuff. The style of music that we play is uh, very eclectic. Uh, we personally, uh, pur pur purposely try to go to all different styles, you know, all different idioms in the United States and Northern Hemisphere. Uh, that's, that's, that's the main goal of the, of the ensemble, to be able to be a diverse group. While the Inner City All-Stars play regularly in Dallas, they are also garnering national attention. Back um, a few years ago, Ensemble performed at a showtime at the Apollo. We got a call to go to New York and perform. We flew out to New York and were able to perform on the stage. It was a uh, good, good experience, great experience for us. The audience was, as, as they always say, is very uh, ready for, you know, want the best on stage and they'll make sure they'll They'll um, tell you that very quickly. The Inner City All-Stars keep busy with their local and national performances. But they also make time for the Dallas community. Well, the group is currently part of the neighborhood touring program through the um, Office of uh, Cultural Affairs here in um, Dallas. We're able to perform at different um, venues in the city, um, at schools and um, community centers, across the area doing master classes, um, different projects and educating um, all ages about the music that we perform. Well, kids are always fun. Uh, generally speaking, when you get kids and music, there's a, a, a very good mix. Kids love music, and music, <laughs> musicians love kids for that matter. And uh, so the kids full of energy, they're always curious about the instruments, and, and most of them are pretty eager to learn, you know, about the music and particularly about the instruments as well. Kids do not hold anything back. So if we want to see if something's going to work, you throw it in front of an audience of, you know, kids this age or older, and they'll give you feedback right away. I like that. I don't like that. And it's it's just a good way to get, kind of test that out. But it's also it's a lot of fun because they're very super. They don't have any inhibitions about dancing around and singing along or whatever. So. <laughs> City All-Stars are definitely a Dallas success story. Their first album, Gotta Move On, has recently been released and the band is looking forward to their future. We, we currently have our um, album, it's called Gotta Move On. Um, we released it in 2008. Um, it's actually our first um, recording. We have a lot of original music on there. It's also it's available pretty much on the internet on um, cdbaby.com and uh, on our website as well. The most difficult thing, I think, is sometimes getting people who haven't seen us to buy into what we're trying to do. And a lot of people who've seen us, they really dig it. But when you're trying to get onto a new scene or get hired to go somewhere you haven't gone before, people, people that are trying to book shows, they kind of want to play it safe a little bit because they want to hire groups that they know somebody will show up for. And when they see this, they're like, they don't know what to think about it. 
the people that have not seen it, they know what people are going to think about it. But you're trying to get somewhere different, and it's just trying to get somebody to take a chance on us because even though we've been around for several years, there's still you know a lot of ground we haven't covered yet.